John here guys and today I'm here to tell you why the GNB 3000 milliamp hour multi-purpose battery is the most versatile battery in all of FPV and why everyone should have one of these in their pack. Now, what are the two worst things that everyone is afraid of when going out to the field? Is it breaking your quads? Is it losing it into the water? No, even worse is not the walk of shame to go pick up your crashed quad. It is the drive home of shame because the battery on either your Fat Shark HDO2s, Orcas, or DJI system has ran out or if the batteries on your radio has run out. And now that everyone has switched to the Jumper T16, abandoning Fry Sky for their scummy ways, we can now have one battery to rule them all. Now, this battery is actually designed to be a goggle battery. And as you can see, it is very close to the size of the Fat Shark USB chargeable battery. This is actually the one that comes with the HDO. Um, I prefer this to the 18650 case. 18650s are great. We should all have a set. But when you are traveling for a race, whether you are driving across town to meet your buddies for a bando session or flying, a lot of times we drive a long ways for that. And even if you're not driving too far, it takes me what 30 45 minutes to pack everything up because you got to make sure you don't forget your batteries your quads your tools your spares your props your soldering iron everything you need and um having to bring one additional charger to the field being a 18650 charger is a little bit cumbersome Now, that in addition to, while the T16, the Jumper Pro Hall Sensor, whatever thing that I got here, while it is considered to be the best new thing about FPV in all of 2019, um, the battery holder that it comes with is a cheap, horrible Dollar Tree piece of crap. And uh, I've had issues with this thing not making contact. I had to kind of do some modifications to it. Um, in order for it to work better. And I've wanted something that would give me a little bit more security. This is it, guys. This is the spare that you can keep in your bag. doesn't take up that much room. It has a power indicator on the back here that you can push to see exactly how charged this thing is. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It fits perfectly inside the jumper bay. Outstanding. It's also the perfect size for your goggles. So next time you're going out to the field for a full day of flying, don't worry about running out of battery on either your goggles or your radio. Just have one of these in your bag as a spare or better yet, buy a trio of them. Have one for each device as your primary battery and then one as an alternate spare. The thing that I really like about this is that, look at this, it has the lead for the fan, um, which is also a balance lead, and it also has an XT60. What does that mean? That means that you can charge this on any hobby charger without having to maintain and keep track of one of these little barrel adapters. Now, I have one of those for some other things, but it's always, fiddly to have to keep track of one little thing, transfer it from your home charging setup to your bag, take it to the field, bring it back, make sure you don't lose it. This takes care of that for you and it is a nice small package. And uh, wow, you know, this thing for 17 bucks, what a value. Now, um, Race Day Quads also makes a version of this. So if you are US based, um, I'll put the links for both of these in the description below. What a great battery. GNB is killing it these days. Uh, and this is no exception. Thanks, guys.